was being called deluded, an amateur. Some even said he didn't know how to make batteries. And these weren't words spoken in secret. They were public attacks, made loud and clear by competitors like ATL. But Elon Musk didn't respond with posts, interviews, or indirect messages. He did what few have the courage to do. He remained silent, a dangerous silence. Because while the world was still drooling over lithium batteries, he was engineering the biggest technological shift of the decade. And now it's here, with the 2026 Tesla Model 2 equipped with the shocking aluminum ion battery, an innovation that could put the final nail in the coffin of lithium's dominance. This battery has numbers that seem like a lie. 1,000 watt hours per kilogram. That's more than double the energy density of a traditional lithium ion battery. And that changes everything. A car with less weight, more range, and more interior space. But the most impressive thing is that, even with all this power, it's incredibly fast. While current electric cars take an average of 40 minutes to charge, the new Model 2 fills the battery in less than 10 minutes. That's right. You stop, grab a coffee, and before you've even finished half of it, the car is ready to go for hundreds of miles. But the performance doesn't stop there. What's truly surprising is the durability. While current batteries begin to lose power after about 2,000 charge cycles, Tesla's aluminum ion battery is designed to withstand more than 15,000 cycles. This equates to over 25 years of use without significant loss of performance. Essentially, the battery will outlast the car itself. This completely changes the concept of planned obsolescence. An electric car you buy today that can still function perfectly for decades? This has never been done at scale. Another point that breaks the rules is thermal resistance. Lithium batteries are like sensitive divas. They need to operate between 20 and 30 degrees Celsius. Beyond that, performance plummets and the risk of fire increases. The new aluminum battery, however, maintains stable operation between 50 and 150 degrees Celsius. In other words, forget about refrigeration and heating systems, ducts, and complex mechanisms. The battery adapts to extreme climates on its own. This represents a dramatic reduction in weight, complexity, and production costs. And of course, it opens the door to global use, from Alaska to the Sahara. Now comes the part many people didn't expect. This battery isn't a simple chemical replacement. It's structured in two layers that work together. The first, with aluminum ions, is used daily, like a marathon runner. Durable, reliable, and consistent. The second layer is a supercapacitor, designed to kick in at peak moments, like a sudden start or heavy braking. It's as if the battery were divided between endurance and explosiveness, allowing for smooth driving when needed and aggressive driving when required, all in the same system. This solves a dilemma that has always plagued electric cars, range versus performance. Either the car is fast and discharges in minutes, or it's fuel efficient and drives like a lazy tractor. With this fusion of aluminum ions and supercapacitors, Tesla has found a way to overcome the impossible. The Model 2 can deliver sporty acceleration and still travel hundreds of miles on a single charge. And the most curious thing is, that this technology doesn't require exotic or scarce materials. Aluminum is ubiquitous, cheap, recyclable, and infinitely more abundant than lithium. While lithium relies on reserves concentrated in just three countries, with 85% of refining dominated by China, aluminum has over 700 million tons in global reserves. The United States alone produces 1.7 million tons per year. What's more, 95% of aluminum can be recycled indefinitely without losing its properties. This creates a true circular economy, where old cars become new batteries without needing to source inputs from the other side of the planet. It's a geopolitical shift as significant as it is technological. And with all this combined, lightweight, speed, durability, thermal resistance, and mineral independence, Tesla is betting all its chips on the Model 2. But what's most striking is that this innovation didn't arrive with fanfare. 
There was no spectacular keynote or fireworks video. It was all done behind the scenes, like a silent checkmate, delivered while the rest of the market was still debating where to find more lithium. And that's precisely why this battery became a game changer. Because by the time the competition wakes up, the board will already be burned. If the battery itself already seemed like something from another planet, what's inside it is even more surprising. Inside the Model 2's aluminum ion system is a microscopic technology called graphene quantum dots. It may sound like a science fiction name, but these are tiny nanoparticles, about 10,000 times thinner than a strand of hair. These particles are strategically placed in two key areas of the battery, next to the anode structure and within the separator layer. They're not there by chance. They form an intelligent network that protects and organizes the electron's path. In other words, these particles act like signposts on an electric highway. They guide electrons along the right path, preventing the formation of dendrites, dangerous, sharp structures that can grow inside lithium batteries and cause short circuits. These dendrites are the biggest threat to the safety and durability of traditional electric vehicles. With quantum dots, this problem is eliminated almost surgically. The energy flow within the battery becomes cleaner, safer, and more efficient, which directly translates into less heat, more power, and a much longer lifespan. The most unbelievable thing is that, even though they are almost invisible to the naked eye, thus dots dramatically impact the car's performance. They reduce the battery's internal electrical resistance by up to 95% compared to standard lithium cells. This means virtually all the energy entering or leaving the battery is used efficiently. Less energy turns into wasted heat, and more energy is converted into motion. It's like removing friction from the system. And this translates into acceleration, range, and response time. The Model 2 literally responds more quickly, and all without using more fuel. And best of all, this advancement isn't stuck in laboratories or future promises. It's already been tested in pre-production prototypes under real-world conditions. Unlike other promising technologies that remain stuck in scientific papers or conceptual models, graphene quantum dots Tesla's particles are actually being integrated into the production system. And not only do they work, they're also extremely cost-efficient. Each battery uses just one gram of these particles, the equivalent of a grain of rice, to transform its entire energy behavior. One grain that changes everything. But it's not just the battery that's gotten smart. The Model 2 carries in its nerve center a proprietary chip called QNP1, an acronym for Quantum Neural Processing one located below the center console. This chip is the car's brain, integrated with the power control system and biometric sensors. It's not just a fast processor, it learns from you. The QNP1 can predict up to 85% of your driving patterns before you even touch the wheel. And it doesn't do it by magic. It uses GPS history, eye movement, muscle tension, and even the way you breathe inside the car. This predictive intelligence enables something unprecedented, adapting the battery's behavior based on your driving style. If you tend to accelerate more at certain times or on certain routes, the system anticipates this demand and adjusts the energy distribution. QNP1 changes the battery's operating mode in real time, increasing efficiency by up to 25% and reducing wear by 30%. This means the battery not only lasts longer, it wears less because it understands how you drive and adjusts to preserve performance. It's as if the battery has a self-preservation instinct. But QNP1 doesn't stop there. It also transforms the way the car responds to you emotionally. If sensors detect that you're relaxed, the car softens the suspension, reduces headlight glare, and delivers a lighter ride. If you're tense, it adapts with firmer responses, more direct acceleration, and more precise steering. There are no buttons or menus. You don't have to say a thing. The car senses and reacts. It's the kind of personalization that goes beyond technology and into the realm of artificial empathy. 
The car doesn't just understand the driver, it feels the driver. This combination between the quantum dots invisible, the QNP1 chip, creates something no other automaker has come close to offering. A battery that thinks, and a car that predicts. And the most interesting thing is that all of this happens in the background, without flashing screens or flashy alerts. While you simply drive, the entire system works behind the scenes to deliver maximum performance with minimum effort. It's a subtle, almost imperceptible intelligence, but it completely changes the experience of being behind the wheel. And this is just the beginning of what this energy architecture is capable of. Most people still see the Tesla Model 2 as just an affordable electric car. But behind its compact design and aggressive price tag lies something much bigger, a key component of an urban energy ecosystem. With its new aluminum ion battery and hybrid design, the Model 2 doesn't just get drivers from point A to point B. It can also act as a mobile power station, connecting to the city's power grid and acting as a smart surge protector during peak hours. This is possible because the Model 2's battery has ultra-fast charge and discharge cycles, allowing it to absorb or release large amounts of energy in a matter of seconds. Instead of just consuming electricity, the car can also feed it back into the grid, the famous concept of vehicle-to-grid, V2G. According to McKinsey projections, if just a fraction of the urban fleet were equipped with this technology, it would be possible to stabilize up to 12% of cities' electricity demand during peak hours. This means fewer blackouts, less overload, and a more efficient grid. And the practicality of this goes beyond graphs and statistics. Imagine arriving home and plugging your car into an outlet. While you sleep, it supplies your apartment with energy stored during the day, saving on your electricity bill. In times of emergency or power outage, the Model 2 could keep lights, a refrigerator, and a router running for hours or even days, depending on demand. It's no longer just a car, it's a personal generator, a portable power cell integrated into the domestic and urban environment. The battery's thermal adaptability also makes this vision global. Unlike lithium batteries, which require expensive cooling and heating systems, aluminum ion batteries operate stably at temperatures ranging from 50 degrees C to plus 180 degrees C. This eliminates components, reduces weight, and cuts costs. Most importantly, it allows the same model to be used in extreme climates from Canada to Saudi Arabia without structural changes. This standardization facilitates mass production and makes the Model 2 viable for markets where lithium simply fails. The simplicity and speed with which this battery recharges also change the behavior of urban drivers. Conventional electric cars require planning. Where to stop? How long to wait? How many kilometers remain? With a full recharge in 10 minutes, this stress disappears. Refueling the car becomes as routine as plugging in your cell phone. It's a silent but powerful psychological shift. It removes anxiety from the equation and brings electric cars closer to the behavior people already know with combustion-powered cars. Only faster, cleaner, and cheaper. This speed also meets another demand. Autonomous fleets. Elon Musk's plan was never to sell cars solely to individual drivers, but to transform Tesla into an infrastructure provider for mass autonomous transportation. To achieve this, batteries need to be robust, fast charging, and resistant to extreme cycles. Aluminum ion batteries meet these three requirements precisely. Vehicles can operate all day and recharge in just a few minutes without premature wear. Downtime is reduced, profits increase, and the model becomes viable for entire cities. The savings generated by this operating model are real. It's estimated that by using long-life batteries and accelerated charging, autonomous taxi fleets can save up to $12,000 per vehicle over its entire life cycle. This includes fewer battery changes, less maintenance, and less downtime. And at scale, this figure represents millions in savings for companies and governments. Tesla, which is already testing its robo-taxi network behind the scenes, 
is quietly laying the foundations for this revolution, vehicle by vehicle, neighborhood by neighborhood. The curious thing is that all of this is happening inside an entry-level car. It's not a luxury prototype, nor an experimental laboratory vehicle. It's the Model 2, the cheapest Tesla in history, which simultaneously delivers performance, intelligence, and now also power. While people debate whether it will cost $15,000 or $18,000, Tesla is preparing something much bigger, transforming every car into a piece of urban infrastructure. And when this network is live, it won't just be about driving. It will be about being connected to a larger system, invisible and silent, yet absurdly powerful. While the general public is still trying to understand how a car can power a home, Tesla is already operating on a different frequency. The Model 2's battery isn't just built to last. It's designed to regenerate, predict failures, and even adapt as if it had its own immune system. This is because its architecture is composed of autonomous layers and an internal organization completely different from that seen in conventional batteries. At its center is a solid aluminum core that serves as a stable energy base surrounded by a gelatinous ring of lithium-rich compounds. But this structure is just the beginning. Each battery cell contains a set of 64 internal microcells, arranged in a fractal-inspired layout. And this isn't just aesthetics. This design distributes energy evenly, reduces localized failures, and allows each microcell to function as an independent unit. If one of them malfunctions, the system automatically isolates that part without compromising the rest. It's as if the battery has its own internal contingency plan. This ensures that even with partial damage, the car continues to operate normally without the driver noticing any abnormality. The system also features nanoscopic sensors spread throughout the structure. They monitor temperature, ion flow, pressure, and microfractures in real time. When abnormal stress is detected, the battery triggers tiny electrical impulses between 10 and 30 microvolts that literally massage the damaged layers. These pulses redistribute the ions and reactivate inactive areas, extending the cell's lifespan and preventing major failures. It's like a molecular defibrillator, keeping the car's energy system running at an optimal pace without relying on external interventions. Furthermore, the battery has a curious behavior. It knows when to rest. When the car is parked for long periods, the battery automatically enters hibernation mode. In this condition, it reduces internal activity by up to 90% and can maintain 95% of its stored charge for over six months. This sleep mode is activated without user input and can be reversed in just 0.3 seconds when the car is restarted. This makes it ideal for vehicles with occasional use, stationary energy storage, and even emergency situations. But it goes even further. The battery can adjust its internal chemistry according to the environment. When the temperature is very low, aluminum ions, more thermally stable, take center stage. In warmer climates, lithium ions take center stage, favoring thermal dissipation and energy flow. This is made possible by an artificial intelligence algorithm that monitors conditions in real time and alters the internal dynamics as needed. An almost biological behavior where components reorganize themselves to ensure maximum performance. To top it all off, the battery's internal separation system is made of a smart polymer that, upon detecting damage, automatically contracts to seal the affected area.